That was weird. I've never had the camera be like not behind Spyro doing that. Oh, I always assumed it would just kind of like catch behind him. Whatever, we're uh, we're all for two right now. I'll see if we can get number three. Third tries the charm. I just want to get out of Spyro too. That first one was actually okay. I don't know why it disconnected. So in this game we need uh, not many gems, we just need the 500 that you need for swimming because that's the only power up that we're actually going to get. Do I go into this cave for gem routing? I go into this cave partially for gem routing, partially because I'm not very consistent at the skip which you can do to jump around the cave. You can actually just get from like the start of the level to the end of the level but really quickly. But. I usually fail that like two or three times, and at that point I might as well do what I'm already more comfortable with. There's a lot of things I'm going to be doing which are like, isn't the best way to do it by far. It's just, it's what I do and it's comfortable and I can do it as opposed to doing something where I maybe can't. Darn it. <laughs> Failed the jump. So I'm jumping around Hunter here because I don't want to talk to him. Uh, not for his speed or anything, I just don't like talking to him. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, basically we just need 500 gems throughout the game. Uh, we can skip climbing uh, by just jumping around the scenery to never actually need to do the climb section in the next hub. And then we can skip the head bash in the last hub as well. So even the head bash is actually like super easy. I think the only like hard bits in this game are getting the swim in air in the last hub to skip into Ripto to skip the uh, 40 orb requirement. Wow, I am just not getting the, uh... Okay, there we go, that worked. <laughs> I'm not getting the, uh, the glide there for some reason, that's weird. But yeah, we skipped the, the climb, and then we skipped the head bash. The hard bits are getting into gulp early. I expect to take at least, like, four or five tries getting into gulp early. Any less, and I will be very happy. And then getting into Riptor early, so the 40 orb skip is really tough. And I will be happy if I get that within like three or four tries as well. Most of the skips in this game are just kind of dumb in general. But like, even doing some of these skips badly are faster than doing like the normal things in this game. Like, the speedrun for getting like all 40 orbs is like, what, like an hour and something? Whereas I can badly do an any percent run in like half an hour. Whereas like, sure, any percent a world record is like 10 minutes, but like... A bad any percent run is better than a bad like 40 orb. Sheep? Sheep? No sheep. Okay. Now, okay, into Autumn Plains. Yeah, there is a kind of easy double jump thing. 
I'll be honest, I, I don't know too much about this game. My interest to get, like, good at this game is very minimal. I just want to be able to play this game to the extent of, like, being able to go okay fast and also just being able to, like, beat it consistently. So here we're going to be getting past the climb thing, because climbing costs 500 gems and that's a lot. So here I want to be lining up kind of like this, I think. Nope. Oh, okay, we got here. That's fine. We can try it again. Okay, we've skipped, skipped the climb power up. Now we need to do this. Which I always hate, and I will mess this up almost definitely. We made it. Okay, that's fine. Hard part's over. flop over. So I purposely let go of all the buttons when I get to the top here to get Spyro to like flop. Because Spyro when he's flopping he kind of like will ride up a wall. Zapped here because we're going to do a death abuse. Darn it. <laughs> Did not mean to like uh, charge there. Very dumb mistake. The reason we're doing this here is because there's 75 gems over here. <laughs> and in a run where the whole, like, uh, the purpose is to get 500 gems. Pretty good. And we don't even need that orb. So we get Zoe zapping us here partially because it also lets us retry this as many times as we like. I've got my own kind of setup that I do here. I'm going to be reading chat for a minute whilst I do this. I want Spyro to like start spreading his wings out and then I'm going to rotate the camera. I'm actually going to do it just now. Darn it. Whatever, okay. First try. Uh, first try is gone. Yeah, we, we will keep respawning here until we get a game over. <laughs> Which hopefully doesn't happen. Which, like, so we've got, like, another three attempts at it or so. Basically, I wanted to get Spyro to, like, clip into the floor. And not get, uh, shunted out. There we go. He let's go! That's the fastest gulp skip I've ever done. Gulp? We finally... We're actually on Spyro 2 PP base. I can Right. Gulp. Gulp is going to take us like three minutes. <laughs> this is a long boss fight. Mostly because I suck at it. 
like not usually this badly. Uh, I'm just nervous. <laughs> But at least if I die here, I have more lives. Like, normally I feel, uh, gulp skip enough times to have to, uh, I might get a game over if I die. But, like, here I've got, like, one or two. And we can always game more reviews in the next sub as well. So here we're gonna go for a double hit. Once I find the other rocket. Was there another rocket? Yes, there is. Okay. So when Gulp lands after attacking him, he'll destroy like all the other destructibles uh, in the arena. However, if I hit him twice in that time period, then we can hit him twice, which is super useful. What's that for all? Chicken, okay. I'd like that chicken. So the chickens are fodder, it's just more health. Which, yeah, the purpose of those cannot be understated. Darn it, I wanted to try charge that second one. Didn't quite get it in time. So go find more hits. It's fine. We just want uh, Hopefully they drop some rockets. Rockets are like super easy for us to do. Darn it, we didn't pick up that last one. Yeah, like speedrunners aim for doubles. Uh, I'm happy if I get single hits <laughs> most of the time. There's a chicken there, I will want that chicken. Ah! Chicken! I'm no health, the game's giving me like all chickens. I hate bombs. <laughs> okay, two more. He did steal my chicken, I'm mad. <laughs> Nobody messes with me and my chicken. Alright, one more. All of those drops were chickens. Did that really not light it? Can I get, like, anything, please? There we go. And, of course, that didn't hit him. Okay. Did Spyro die first, or did he die first? Of course we died first. I got stuck because of the cutscene. Oh, fun. <laughs> Good video game, let's go. Whatever. Uh, so this isn't going to PB, but it has been a run. Uh, pick it up, please, Spyro. And it missed. Awesome. I love this game. I can't wait, please, Spyro 3.
Hey, four more hits. Three more. What you get me? Come on, something good, something good. Rockets, fine. Take rockets. Oh, not quite a double hit. Almost. Timing was a little off, I think. I'm not sure if you can get a double hit like that. Okay, hey, one more. Let's see, one more. Let's go. I don't know what hit him, but I'll take it. That was dumb. That was really dumb. We spent almost longer on gulp alone than we did the rest of the run so far. Half of the run has been gulp. And I love it. I think I finally come up with a way. Also, isn't the professor the same guy that voices SpongeBob because he sounds like it? He so sounds like it. Right, Dragon Shore is early. So here we're gonna get the uh, fireball to make the final boss very easy. <laughs> Unfortunately, you need to do this twice, but no worries. Get up here, turn this around. Turn this up here. So we need that 500 as soon as we can. Should be enough. Yeah, Spyro, I know Spyro was voiced by Tom Kenny, but I wasn't sure about the, the rest of the cast. I more so just wanted validation more than an answer. <laughs> So here you'll start to see a trend that's in all of the, uh, like, the two, like, Spyro 2 and Spyro 3, is that portals for things are just below where they are if they're, uh, like, locked. <laughs> so this is the post-game level. And I just need to remember not to hit square here, otherwise I will crash the game in water, so... You know, no pressure or anything. Very nice. Nice, okay. That was reasonably quick. Turning to Winter Tundra. No, wrong portal. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't do the uh, the theater. I just collect the 500 gems and then take the exit portal. I was also meant to go in the other one <laughs> uh, to take me back to the first world because there's a portal right next to it which takes me there. Oh, 
There we go. There we go. Hello there, Spark. Yeah, there's like, if you're confident enough to get to the theater for any for an any percent run with the uh, the wall glide technique, you might as well not go to Dragon Shores like for the theater at all, because you can just wall glide into Ripto without the swim. And swimming is the whole reason you'd go to the theater for any percent. The other way would be the uh, either jumping off the cart or doing the swim. But for the swim, you would need to buy the swim anyway, which wouldn't help. Theater is like mostly for... Uh... I don't know when you actually use theater. Anyway, we're going into this level solely for one reason. We're just going to go in and then we're going to exit. Just so if I die when performing this next trick, which is super likely by the way that I will respawn at this portal instead of at the entrance to the hub, uh, entrance to the world. Just so I don't need to do that silly, like, jump over the wall thing, because even though I've just done that twice in a row without failing, I normally don't do that twice in a row without failing. This would also be, like, an incredible PB pace if I didn't have to redo a uh, gulp. Which I still think is absurd that that happened. I didn't uh, glide early enough there. Nice. Darn it. This is what I mean. Making things look easy, and then bailing them. This isn't even the hard bit of this. You just need a good double jump, and I am failing getting that. There we go, okay. So this is the whole reason we bought the swim. <gasps> Let's go! Oh my gosh! If only we didn't refight Gulp, this would be a huge PV. Like, I mean huge! <laughs> if we were to take like, what, well, three minutes off this? low 20 probably Spyro, we want so the whole reason we got a uh, fireballs was to do this Double Ripto glitch? No, I have not. That's all we need to do for this game. Change disk, CD ROM. What? Oh, 
Oh, ISO not CD ROM. I'm done. I'm thinking of real physical media. Uh, Spire you the dragon. And reset. There we go. Year of the Dragon time. Doubles your flight speed for some reason. That I've never heard of. It sounds hilarious. It would probably suck to encounter if you weren't ready for it though. Okay, Spyro 3. I'll split over when uh, Spyro 3's timing normally starts. So this is going to be my first run on NTSC. I hope it goes well. For the most part, NTSC is basically the same. It's just... The helmet proxy is going to be a lot easier. Get this conversation out of the way now. What's the map is? I'm going to look at the layout. My sub splits. So you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Is Besides, the control still working? Find an egg, our expertly trained armies will I think I need to restart the emulator. I think. It stopped working again. I think it's because I'm tabbing out. I think that's what's breaking it. So this is the, like the first time I've really had this happen before, which is a pain, but oh well. Which means we lose like 20 seconds on rendering here. Yeah, it's just not picking the controller up again. What the heck? Okay, unplug, deplug, reboot, file, run game, go. Third time's the charm. Right, right, please, come on, work with me here. <laughs> I need this to work. There we go. Okay, we lost like two minutes to swapping the game. <laughs> At least. But that's okay. But that's okay. Just blowing the old USB port. That fixes it, right? I should probably change the game on Twitch at some point as well. I can do that on my phone, I'll be easiest. So in this game, I don't need any gems. Which is good. So you're the one There we go. Are you kidding me? <laughs> oh gosh, going from Spyro 2 to where I have the double jump to Spyro 3 where I don't is uh strange. I saw something shot. Mm. 
but I'll change it when I'm entering the CCL. Oh, I almost... Where is Year of the Dragon? There it is. Okay. Update information. This is a super black. I did not mean to fly up here. Anyway, we are going to go to Seashell Shores early. We're going to use that similar swimming in air technique, but it's much easier with the head bash, in my opinion. However, we also don't have the double jump at our disposal anymore. That was fixed for this game. But we do need to get all of the uh, the NPCs over to the balloon, which is why we still need to do every level in the game, except the last world, because uh, we don't need them to get all together a vehicle. If you want a quick stop. Yo, Junior Spike, what's good? Thanks, good luck. How are you doing today? Next up, we need to do the same trick that we just did to uh, do the swim in air. We need to do that two more times. I'm doing well, thanks. So we need to do it once more to get into Molten Crater, uh, to skip the egg requirement, and then we also need to do it to get into Sheila's Alp without paying for it. Get the zap in case I fall out of bounds. Ooh, that was a close one. Okay, next level is over here, I believe. There it is. You can see the portal outline just kind of out of bounds a bit there. But two of the Skylander games. I've always been tempted to pick up the Skylander games. They honestly look quite fun. Not super up my alley, but like, I don't know, I think they could be a good time. They do need to be nice, like, collector's items. I'm sure they're probably not going to be the easiest thing to find in like five years. Yes, lower. Dun, 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 dun. 
genuinely, I'm on like, compared to my PB, because I think my PB failed like the swim in air twice. So if I get the swim in air here, we're probably going to be ahead of my PB, which is hilarious. That's not gonna make the tree, is it? Oh yes, absolute legend. <gasps> yes, three for three. Let's go, boys. Oh, Sheila. Let's go. Oh, that's put me in a good mood. That has. Really good mood. Thanks again, Spyro. Hi, Yoshi. guys is that a whole thing? I think it is. There he is, cool. Give me the egg. Ah, my favorite number. Cool, no more swimming there till the next world. In the home stretch of Sunny Villa. Or Sunrise Spring or whatever it's called. Talking trigger. Thank you for rescuing me. This has to be a KFC joke. It has to be. And finally, Cloud Spires. Cloud Spires is a really fun skip where we can just kind of go from the start of the level to the end. I don't do like the fastest version of it, but the way I do it, it's still like pretty cool, in my opinion. Charge the jump that we need to do over to that ledge. Nice. Oh, you have to be. The Rhinox must have. Been. I'm happy! Got the goodwill, got nothing extra, and I don't know if the toy part the strict requirement. I think you do need at least one toy for Skylanders. But I'm not 100% sure on that.
But I thought of running all the Sparrow DS games. I at least want to try Shadow Legacy sometime. This because I would love to do what I did for uh, the Crash series and be like a speedrun of all of the pre-HD era games. So playing like one, two, three, Enter the Dragonfly, Hero's Tale, the, uh, the Legend of Spyro trilogy, and all the handheld stuff as well. I would love to be able to do that sometime, and that would involve learning Shadow Legacy. As for like the uh, the Legend of Spyro games, honestly, not sure. Didn't really think about it too much. So here we're in manipulating Buzz, so that he can't hit us. I'm just gonna do that with the camera. This also means that his fire shield that he brings up won't hurt us. As long as it's off screen, it doesn't exist. As long as it isn't on screen, it doesn't exist. Heck, okay, whatever. I'm gonna have to do this casually for like one phase. That's minimal. The talk of scholarly modding was strictly banned from the Spyro modding Discord. From the sharing of mods that would void the total current. Ah, uh, that. That makes sense, yeah. They wouldn't want him getting into trouble for it. Although you can buy like NFC like chip things. Like I've seen a few from Amiibo, I'm sh I'm like, sure Spylander equivalent exists as well. Where you can uh, put those figures, like multiple figures onto a card and do it all digitally. big fan of this level. I always end up losing way more health on it than I plan to. That's so why I'm eagerly looking out for this bird. your uh, Spyro 6 GBA run. You also plan to run all the Spyro games uh, 8%? It's a good goal, I think. Uh, the 6 Game Boy Advance games are super fun, I will say. Except Season of Ice. Season of Ice isn't super fun, but... Season of Flames, pretty enjoyable. Uh, Attack of the Rhinox is hilariously fun. I wish I'd played Attack of the Rhinox, like, earlier. <laughs> I wish I did not leave it as late as I did because it is so much fun to do. Hey, Spyro. Uh, the Eternal Knight is slept on criminally. It is easily one of the best Game Boy Advance games full stop. Uh, Fusion. Fusion is an amazing speed game. Uh, it's really easy. Fun to get into, you just need to put up with a few auto-scrollers. Uh, a new beginning? I hated a new beginning initially, but when I started to like play it and learn it, like, I'll be honest, it's still not my favourite, but like, I got it out for like a solid weekend. I think like, that goes to show like, it can be enjoyed, but 
I wouldn't worry about it too much. But yeah, if I was to do a run of all Spyro games, uh, what do I still need to learn for it? I would need to learn an, uh, a hero's tale. I would need to learn. Oh, it's early morning, by the way. Hero's tale. The Legend of Spyro trilogy. Oops. And the DS game. So for all, just five games. Not too bad. Spooky Swamp's next. Oh gosh, which level is Spooky Swamp? I think I know which one it is. I think I always go into Bamboo Terrace by accident, thinking it's a Spooky Swamp, but it's not. Spyro Reignited Trilogy? So, I do own Spyro Reignited Trilogy. I have no way to play it, realistically. Uh, so, I usually do, like, pre-HD eras, just so I have, like, a clear defined an end point for when I consider the Spyro series to beginning and end. Uh, mostly because I only like to do original games, not remakes, or same-name ports. Like, for example, if I was doing the uh, Legend of Spyro trilogy, I would just do the console versions. I wouldn't do uh, like the Game Boy Advance or DS ports of them. So, and because Spyro Reignited trilogy is... I know it's not, like, identical to... Uh, the originals, but like, it's basically the same. So where is the uh, trigger for this? Is up a bit? There it is. But yeah, I'd basically just be playing like all of the unique Spyro games name-wise. Uh, that's also partially just because I don't have any way of playing the uh, Reignite trilogy just at the moment. Uh, same with the Crash so one. I have it on PC. I just... Uh, my PC's graphics card broke last summer. So I don't actually have a way of playing anything more than, like, Among Us, basically, on PC at the moment. That's about as high-end as my PC can handle. And I could get the console version, but I feel weird buying a game that, like, I've already bought and actively not played. <laughs> that feels kind of weird to me. But I would also love to do a, a standard definition and HD version or version of this run. Because there is a category for doing both the any percent splash back to any and the HD splash back to any back to back. And I think that would be fun to do. The Reignite Trilogy, uh, Trilogy Any Percent, is super entertaining because it's got a glitch that persists between all three games. That makes it super interesting. And Crash is just, it's just, you just play Crash for a couple hours, it's fine. It's whatever. Right, Bird Base. Bird Base's hitbox is never where I think it is. There it is. I have to train the hunt. Sir, the final. 
Darn it. <laughs> Alright, where was I? I forgot the set down button first, which is why I took the extra damage there. What order am I doing? I'm doing Spyro 2, 3, then 1, and then the Crash Trilogy in order. I think this is where you go. And the Hummingbird should just be able to fly to the end. Yeah, there we go. The reason for the order is Spyro 2 is the game I'm the least consistent at. Spyro 3 has got a trick that I will get tilted at, and I would rather get tilted an hour in than four hours in. Uh, Spyro 1 is the game I'm least familiar with overall. However, it's a run that can be finished, if you get what I mean. Like... Spyro 3, you can't just get to the last world and then not do the final trick to get into Sorceress because you literally don't have the requirements to. Whereas Spyro 1, there isn't like a big thing at the end which you can't just do casually if you don't want to. So like, Spyro 1 can definitely finish if, if even if it's just like kind of casually at the end. And then uh, Crash Trilogy is going to be done in order. And mostly just because Crash 1 is the game I'm the least familiar with. Then 2 and 3 I'm pretty much on par with 2 being a bit more familiar. But 2 is also pretty intense so I'd rather get, get out of the way earlier. So yo Dexter, what's good? Hope you're doing well. Could go for Rat Proxy. I genuinely have never performed a proxy in my life. <laughs> I couldn't even tell you how. I forget if I need to kill this guy or not. I don't know where he is, so clearly not. Oh, maybe actually. Go, go, do your thing. I do know one skip in this level. Uh, it's not really much of anything. So, uh, not helping out these pandas. So, this spiral thing that I'm doing there isn't just for swag. You genuinely get more height by doing, like, a spin when going up a wall. We would be on... Also, just in general, I haven't really mentioned this. I haven't actually finished Spyro 1 Run yet. I've gotten close. I uh, was doing a Spyro 1 Run earlier today. It got all the way to Magic Crafters near the end. And then I softlocked by getting a zombie. <laughs> and I did not know how to remove zombie. Now I do know how to remove zombie in case it happens. But that was uh, quite silly. Let's head on over to... Onwards to Evening Lake. And we're gonna fight Spike. I hate Spike. Spike is actually like the worst boss. I will not be surprised if I die to him like three times and then we have to uh... Then we get like the dynamic difficulty turning his difficulty down. I would not complain if that happened. My tactical in This is why I can aim. EU aim at its worst. No. Come on, any more rocks, buddy? 
Not in the path that I'm already running. Oh, no, I wanted that. I wanted that. Show me the money. Where is it? Oh my gosh, it was there. I think that's the first time I've ever beat Spike for his try. I am shocked. <laughs> Genuinely shocked. Okay, uh, let's not enter Honey Speedway. Honey Speedway is not where we want to end up here. I'm also gonna pick up some frogs. Sorry, Smokey. I don't mind Scorch that much. Uh, that was a terrible jump, mostly because it didn't jump at all. Oh no, how do I do this? You know what I might do actually? I think I'm just gonna do this. I think I have a higher chance of succeeding. I forgot to set Rumble up. <laughs> Let's see if I can get my uh, my timing right on this. Be careful, Randy. Nope. Cool, we got one more go at this, I think. <laughs> no, two more, okay. One, two, three. Nope. I'm doing it way too late. Way too late. Nope. Oh, I got it. I got it and then I unpaused. That might have been it. That might be like a frame early. It's so hard to tell. If I leave without sparks... But I think I got it. No, I didn't get it. Too early. On console, this is so easy because you can just feel the vibration in the controller, but I do not have a vibration set up in the simulator. This is not a hard trick. Nope, that was it. That was it. I just didn't think it was.
Oh my gosh, come on. This is not that hard. I just really wish I stepped up vibration. Oh, I knew I was forgetting to check something before this run. That's it. That's definitely it. There's no way that's not the right frame. No way. Yep, that's it. 100%. Alright, I'm going for over here. Here. There we go. That should be it. Should be into Bentley. Yep. Took us a lot longer than we needed to, but we're in there. Hey, bro. If you use your. No, come on. Bentley, please. There we go. Thanks, bro. I'm gonna die to this guy. Because I can't pause the game whilst in zombie. And we're gonna have to zombie once more. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, prison altars. Easy level next. Don't need to do another uh, zombie for a few more levels.
Thanks for helping out. Okay, there we go. Frozen altar's done. Nice and easy. On to the fireworks factory. Wrong way. No, I did not mean to head bash. Darn it. Whatever. He's just out here now. Oh, I did not mean to push triangle. That was a mistake. Second try. That's kind of whatever, but okay. Fireworks Factory is super straightforward. You're just going to run through. There she is. It looks like you're happy. Nice. Thought the door open the other way around. I was wrong. And up this wall. And we're good. Okay, Lost Fleet. We're almost at the end of the Spyro 3, heck yeah. Like watching any percent Sprash, not enough people do this kind of thing regularly. This is my kind of first go at it. I don't know how well it's going to go. Mostly because uh, Spyro 3 has kind of been kicking my ass so far. It's had a few things go really well. We had a really good like first two hubs. Especially like our first try spike. This hub's been a bit of a pain. Spyro 2 went amazing, except for Gulp. I uh, died on Gulp as Gulp died, uh, meaning I had to refight Gulp from the start, <laughs> which is not how I like my Gulp fights to go, but oh well. But no, yeah, I'm glad you kind of like these kind of runs. I always kind of have enjoyed these uh, multi-game style things. Just a warning though, I'm not going to be very good at some of the upcoming games. Uh, next one is actually going to be my first, like, c completed in one segment Spyro speedrun. Okay, time for zombie. Nope. And uh, that's going to be a game over as well, so we're going to have to re-enter. Oh no, it's not. That's fine though. Oh no, it is. Uh... Yeah, no, I'm going to need to die and redo that. One oh, no, game the, in the games in the right regions. Yeah, I feel it. I've got Crash 2 and 3 on the, like, the best regions. Everything else I'm playing on emulator. Uh, just because... I do own like all the Spyro games, for example, on real hardware. They're just all PAL, and by heck, I uh, I, tr I tried out Helmet Proxy for like five minutes on NTSC and MU. I got it 
so much compared to uh, Pal. Uh, yeah, even like the height that you get on Pal Proxy, even when you do get it, is nothing. So you tap, thanks, good luck. I will need it. One thing I don't miss though is uh, having vibrations to tell if you got that or not. Never done one any, have done 120. Count the gems, all different thing. Yeah, no, I get you. I've got so in my splits I've actually got gem count, dragons, and eggs. Uh, so I will know if I'm missing anything from Oh, are you kidding me? I thought I got it. I thought I got it. I was wrong. That's sad. Okay, whatever. I have to re-enter here. Nice! Uh, not how I wanted that to go, but okay. I hope that's it. I'm just going to skip this split because I have no idea when I'm actually going to be leaving. And I'd rather just go straight to Charm Bridge when I can. Come on, please. Please. Yes, okay, there we go. We're out of there. Uh, I go from here, I go out of bounds. I go down to the weird shape. Not that weird shape, this weird shape. And we swim forward under water. And then we angle ourselves up the way, if I remember right. To a... Uh, where is it? It's like there-ish. There we go. My memory for this is like zero. <laughs> it's been a little bit of time since I've done a Spyro 3 run. Spider. So I'm going to play this level super safe because we're only going to do it on one life. Spider. And I don't know where the extra lives are. Hurry, spider. So, although I know like some of like the big jumps I could do, I'm not going to be doing any of them. Uh, like... So I find this wall is like just bigger in a... Oh, no, I did not like that. I'm glad I aborted that. Come on. Okay, we got this. We got this. This isn't a hard jump. No. Why is this just harder on NTSC? I always got this jump first try on pal. There we go. That is so scary. to Scorch. Uh, we have no lives for Scorch, so... Oh, I can go this way, can't I? I always used to go, like, all the way around. I kept forgetting that I could just kind of go this way. Mm. 
I'm trying to remember what my Spyro 3 PB is. I think it's like a 53 or something. So depending on how this all goes, like, we're probably going to be close to PB. That's it. I'm I can't believe Spyro 2 literally would have been like a huge PB for me, like a 4 minute PB had I not had to refight Gulp. That would have, that was the dumbest thing. Okay, Scorch, let's see what you got today. This might be I've been practicing Scorch a bit, so hopefully uh, he has less butt today. But... Show me some red rockets, heck yeah, let's go. Kidding me, I didn't realize that hit. Oh no, I knew he was coming with that. I don't think you got any like health pickups from this fight, do you? Let's go! Oh, we got every boss for his try. Except Gulp, but we didn't talk about Gulp. <laughs> Alright, Helmet Proxy, how many times is it going to take? Let's, let's, uh, let's have some guesses. Uh, in, in terms of, like, actually times that we get into the air. I'm going to say it's going to be, like, second. Hopefully that's not too optimistic. Oh, do I want to de Death Abuse first in case of Sorceress? Maybe. Yeah, I'm actually going to Death Abuse. Get the game over. That took a long time to load. Game's really making me scared like that, huh? I mean, kill these lizards. Dos. Dos. I think it's just the two of them. Maybe yeah, I can work with this. Maybe. Do I, just, do I just go back to the ground and redo this? Because I hate this jump. Yeah, let's just go back to the ground. I'll just redo this. We'll get a bear one with bear height. Never mind, we just keep getting here. Okay, fine. I see what the game's telling us. No, we're, we're, we're getting this. We're getting this, okay? We're getting one with decent height. Of course. Oh, I forgot we could save that. Never mind. We ain't saving it. <laughs> Come on. Way too early spin there. Not entirely sure what that angle was, but... Come on. This is not that
There we go. Shoot down some machines for me. I am so bad at aiming these. Like, so bad. Although, once again, this is definitely harder on NTSE. I've never struggled with it this much before. Just show me the tanks already, okay? Right, cool. I think we're getting tanks now. This is just like an incredible clown fiesta. Alright, if we get spaceships now. Like, the spaceship is the one thing I feel like actually competent with. Flying. No, that wouldn't be too surprising in the spiral game, but. Like another sheep, please. Like now. Like sparks, get that butterfly, please. Oh my gosh, she is just camping me. The heck. 
The Hank Spyro 3. Come on. Let me finish this fight. This is already going on for comically too long. Darn it! Oh no, 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 wrong way, wrong way! I was thinking like tank controls. At least I'm getting extra lives, but that's hardly what I want right now. Oh, you come on. Right, sheep. Whatever. Come on. There we go. We got this. Let's finish off Spyro 3, finally. Oh, no, 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 no,
Okay, and a sunny flight. So, my splits probably look a little confusing for this. It's in a level which isn't a speedway. It's the number of gems roughly I expect to get in that level. And the number of dragons I expect to get to that level. Except in hub worlds. In hub worlds, it's still the amount of gems I expect to get in the hub world in total. But also the uh, the dragon count is instead how many dragons I should have total. Also, heck. Try again. It's choking a speedway right away. You'll love to see it. Let's do this so I can actually just kind of go around the whole thing. Nice. So yeah, the, the number of dragons will be the number of dragons total as opposed to for that whole world. Uh, should be the next train. Should be the next train just about now as well. No way. Luckily this one's super lenient. I'm doing this one uh, just because I find the other ones a little tough. Some of the other flight levels a bit tough. That said, uh, I'm not sure if we're going to get 300 here. Because I am choking these planes pretty badly. Come on, where are they? There they are. Think we can get the rest of them in 10 seconds? Because these are plus 3 with everyone. It's going to be close. No, the last one's too far. <gasps> no! Whatever. We'll just... We'll, we'll take the three. So we're like 120 gems short out of the way. Nice. But I mean, also some of my gem counts, just kind of here, there, and everywhere, are super lowballing. Like, in the last hub world, I only do one level. So, like, I can make up extra gems. This is not the order I do things in. I meant to go somewhere else first. Come on. I hate Sparks in this game. It is like, he just does not want to pick up any gems. Alright, so we've got four to pick up here, so we should be totaling six dragons at the end. So we come over here.
Give them an extra life just cause. And this should be our last dragon. And if we just overgem very, like, slightly on every level, we'll make up that 120 in no time. Okay, Town Square. That is not the way to Town Square, it's this way. We only got three to pick up, so it should bring us to ten. And roughly 90 gems to get. Doesn't sound too bad. Second dragon. Come on, where are you? Any chickens here? Okay, very nice. That's everything we need here. Extra nine gems, no complaining. Darn it, I wanted that chest. <laughs> oh well. Should be our 11th dragon, and we need to make sure we have at least 25 gems for this area. Which there is more than plenty on the way out. Okay, first hub done. Dry Canyon, 220 and 3 uh, dragons. Okay, Dry Canyon. I'm trying to remember from Dry Canyon is the one I always kind of get a little lost on, because it mostly looks like very samey all throughout. Okay, 
We have three dragons here as well. Should get us to 15. I think I need to stay down here and do stuff down here first. Yeah, I do. Welcome, Boris. Yeah, there's a 25 there I wanted. Maybe there was a reason I was here. Don't entirely remember how to get over there, but that's okay. The stairs somewhere around here. There they are. Maybe they get some extra gem cells from here. I think there's some just down here, isn't there? Nope, that's everything. <laughs> cool. Seven ten. We should be fine. Clifton's next. Cliffdown's at least simple. We'll take what we can there. Let me three, so we're getting to eighteen. I might under gem a little here just because I think my gem count is pretty tight for this one. Never say no with an extra life in a game I'm not familiar with. <laughs> oh yeah, there's no hopper in this game. Never mind, let's just get climbing. They look so flammable! We need to glide for. Thank you. 
Come on. There we go. Sparks, please pick them up. Oh my gosh. He's actually useless in Spyro 1. Actually useless. Yeah, I don't know why my gen count is so high for this level. It needs to be lower. It needs to be way lower. Uh, is there anything I can get easily here? There's 20 here. And then those there. Cool, there are 30 gems, sure. Night Plight. Let's get everything this time. Can't believe we missed out on 100 gems last time. That was so dumb. I'm not even a big fan of like this level, to be honest. I find this one super tough. Which is part of the reason I do the other one first, is this insurance. So, let's see if I can manage this time. No way! Come on. Yeah, no, we're gonna have to try that again. This is like the first time I've struggled with the, the flying levels. It's probably just because I've already been playing games for like two hours, and games which feel very familiar but different. Scary part's over. And we have enough gems to get into the next up at least. We haven't even done all the levels we need to do here yet. Or collected all the gems that we need in the hub world. Dr. Shemp, 200 gems apparently. Jam. Yep, Jam. Okay, now I don't have sparks. Fantastic. Right, okay. I can just run through all of them until the last one now. Should be everyone.
There's our one dragon. I thought he was about to push me off there. That would have been a pain. Okay, Sparks, are you gonna pick that up this time? There we go. And of course, that was my last Sparks. Well, of course. Shemp done. We obtain Shemp. On to Weiss Caverns. Which is... I just need to go around the map first. For the whole purpose of this. We're getting this guy. And these gems, getting this dragon. Oh my gosh, no, no. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> it's a very dumb way to die. Very dumb. All right, getting back there now. I appear to be one dragon over because I'm supposed to get four in Ice Cavern. I'm not sure. Wh oh no, no, I'm I'm perfect. Uh, perfect number of dragons. Yeah. Never mind. I can't count. <laughs> right, two twenty in ice cavern. And four dragons to get. See, like, how didn't I get all of those? I do not know. Go up and collect the gems. Two. Not many here, but you know, anything I can get kind of helps. It's two.
Okay, not bad so far. I'm very under gemmed and I'm not sure where the rest are. There's one more dragon to get. That is where the rest of the gems are. Probably pick up a few extra gems here as well, just to be safe. Just lost them here. Onwards to the next tub. Okay. Oh, just getting adjusted there. On to Alpine Ridge. There's an egg here that I need to collect. Nice. Come on. There we go. Alpine Ridge, 420 gems, nice. Uh, four dragons and one egg. I remember the one. It's the one with all the big jumps and such. So we're, we're like three hubs in out of five, pretty much. So there's Beastmakers, then Dreamweavers we barely play, and uh, Nork Industries, whatever it's called, uh, that we barely do anything in. It's just like three levels where we just kind of run through. might be like an hour 10 or so, hour 20. Honestly not sure, but excited to find out. And there's our first dragon out of the floor. Okay, you need to be careful on this cycle. Halfway through the gems we need. Oh, 
There's another one. There he is. Alright, after this, it's up here. Just gonna leave that cave B, I believe. I'm trying to remember what's in that cave, if I need to go in that now or later. Let's go check it out now. <laughs> yeah, it was just gems, but I'm glad I remembered to come check it. Because that's a lot of gems! Ah uh, yes, this thief, because we have one egg to collect here. And we're almost done with the gems. And I think that's all the dragons. Yep, that's all four. Okay, now I just need to catch this guy. Nice. This is going like pretty much as well as I'd have ever hoped, with the exception of uh, the sunny flight at the start, just kind of being uh, not fun. Oh, let's get this guy. There we go. High caves next. Four hundred gems and three dragons. Okay. All right. This is uh, the one where we go this way around. Honestly, not the biggest high caves fan. Uh, this level just kind of, kind of sucks, to be honest. Just not super fun to play, you know. Never level's not fun to play. I mean, why is it in the game? I forget how, like, high-quantity gems are in these later levels. They're like, oh yeah, you can just find a 25, just kind of chill in there.
Very nice. That was not where I thought that went. <laughs> Next up is this way. Okay. Where do I get back from here? Oh, I can jump to there. Okay, cool. Do I need an egg here? I don't think I need an egg here. But I'm not going to say no to a decent amount of uh, gems. How many dragons do I have here? Oh, I've got all... How did, when did I get the third dragon? I have no clue. I'm not entirely sure I'm missing all my gems. I'm mostly not very sure at all. I uh, think I'm probably just going to leave it. And grant them in the last hub. What does this do? This is for these guys! Oh my gosh, this is how you do it casually. I've only ever supercharged these guys before. Whatever. I'll take the 130. Uh, 130. Uh, sorry, the 380. That's only like 20 short anyway. I can, like, find across 20 gems in my sleep. Oh my gosh, I jumped and didn't get the supercharge. Heck. There we go. So I don't know why I don't do crystal. I'm just going to do crystal flight because I'm right here. Okay? I know this isn't what my splits say, but it's right here. Come on. Why do I have to come back to do this? Don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, uh, Crystal Flight, which one's this? This is this one. This is the one where you start with the planes, because if you do the planes last, it sucks. This probably isn't an all-in-one, but we'll see what we get. Again, <laughs> three of them. Uh, this is like 240 jam short. Once again. Not bad, we can make that work, but heck. Kinda sad, one lie. Thank you. 
All right, Wizard Peak. I need 290 gems here, and three dragons and one egg. Come on, touch him. <laughs> Two more dragons. Um, there's also supposed to be a chase around here somewhere. There's our last egg. Very nice. Yo, Noxmaker with a raid. How you guys doing? Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing today? Right, okay, I kinda need to leave this for now. Don't think I've come down here, have I? Oh no, it's a supercharge ramp. How many dragons do I need? Three dragons and I'm at... Oh, I've got the three dragons, and I've got enough gems. What am I doing? Streaming Reignited Trilogy? Nice! How are you finding it? I'm really excited to try uh, the Reunited Trilogy when I can. Uh, skip. Split. I should probably just split at the end of Blowhard. Speaking of which, where is he? Down here. Of course I lost Sparks as well. It's fine though, we can make that work. Let's go over to Blowhard. I bought in this, uh, the Reunited Trilogy for PC a while back, but uh, my PC unfortunately lost its graphics card since then, so I'm looking forward to trying it uh, when I finally get a chance to upgrade the PC. Having to pick these all up manually is the worst thing. Have a capture card. Ah, you're playing on a PS4 or like Xbox or something. Ah, that makes sense. Yeah, if I was like dying to play, I probably could pick it up on Switch or something. But I'm not in like that great a need to play it. Whatever. I'll just re-get to that bit. It's pretty easy. Does the door stay open? No, you need to hit him again. Okay. 
I'm trying to remember how spiral bosses work. So strange. And do I want to go this way as well? I think I do. Here. Cool. Okay. There. And that's everything from over this way. So now we come around. A little hard. Oh no! Yeah, it's very much just like I wouldn't say either is like distinctly better than the other. I think they both have like their own little quirk to it. And I think that they're great, like, options to have. Be still being able to play the original, but... Uh, where is the dragon on this level? Did I get it? No, I didn't. I skipped the dragon. Where is the dragon? Uh, oh, I know where the dragon is. I'm dumb. I skipped past him. Uh, what's the easiest way to get back? Probably this way. I know exactly where the dragon is on this level. He's right here. Because this wasn't where I was meant to go. This was the optional area with the dragon. But yeah. If it seems like I don't super know where I'm going, that's because I don't. This is my first time speedrunning this game. I played it casually once or twice. But I'm still learning where things are. <laughs> right, Magic Crafters. I'm like 50 gems short in this home world. Uh, well, there's 10. There's 20. There's an orb. Uh, cool. I guess we'll just be a few gems short. That's fine. As long as I'm not short on dragons, that's the important bit. GF's done three hours, haven't really speed run up as such. Ah, right. I'm about 50 minutes into the Spyro 1 just now. Before this, I'd played Spyro 2, then Spyro 3. And those both went pretty well. For my standards, at least, which aren't super high, but... Uh, no, I'm pretty happy with the times I got in those games. Right, Terrace Village, I have 240 gems to get and two dragons to find. I'm trying to remember which, vet, uh, which level Terrace Village is, because I always get it and Misty Ball confused. The rest of the Spyro games in the series do have like major glitches for speedrunning, which allows us to go through them really quickly. Like in Spyro 2, you don't actually need to do any levels, you can just play all the bosses and skip to them. And in Spyro 3, you don't actually need to do any of the eggs except the finishing the level ones. Which means that Spyro 2 only takes like a... Uh, like, the world record is like 10 minutes, it takes me like half an hour. And then Spyro 3 is like, normally world record's like just under half an hour, I think. And it takes me about an hour. So I'm pretty happy with what I can do. I haven't learned the games for too long. And I haven't been like too intense in the learning of them, so. Are you thinking 100%? Ah, right. I'll be honest, I know nothing about 100% for these games. Alright, there's our first dragon from this area. Hello. 
Oh, the right, I thought that was the other guy. I thought that was the lightning one I was charging into, but no, it was not. Anyway, I got a lot of gems to find, about 100 more. Well, we've got all the dragons I want. I think I'm another uh, Sparks here as well. Okay, how do I get back up there? Oh, no, that is definitely not the right way up there. <laughs> Ooh, an extra life though. Won't say no. Gonna alert? No worries. Thanks for hanging out though. <laughs> Thanks for good luck. Probably just call it on this level with these gems. Take the vortex. Then <laughs> dream short, sure. Okay, wild flight. We need to get everything wild flight. Uh, speaking of, where is it? It's over this way, isn't it? There's Cletus. Sure, there's nothing behind here. Now we're all good. Came to Wild Flight. Oh, we've got 2,000 gems still to go. That's fine. Okay, okay with that. Oh yes, the level with the boats. Oh, I think I might just redo that one. Because now I remember which one this is. Oh, I forgot which way the boats were going. Stop. one. I'm glad I landed on something at least. Oh, we got this in the bag. Let's go. Oop, missed that one. Not that bad, is it? There we go. Perfect. Want a misty bog? Oh, split. Uh, where's the vortex for here? There it is. I always like get completely lost on like where the uh portal thing is for that. Let's see, Bob. 
390 and all four all four dragons. Should be finishing here with a 40 47. I love Beaver Balder. Bal Beaver Balder. so far. Pick it up. <laughs> oh my gosh, come on. Camera, please. Okay, uh, let's go and get the dragon. No! Oh man. Heck, okay. Shame. It's a big shame, but oh well. I'm just kinda charge the D says now though. Just kinda one on the left hand side ish that I need to get. From him? Yep. Try the gem. Alright, okay, there's Damon. Two more to go. That gem, get back up. And we'll go get the rest. A dragon on that pallet from his there. Just want to make sure I'm not missing anything silly. It's okay. Come on, pick up the gem. <laughs> There we go. Should just be one more in, these, in this next little area. It's pretty much perfect. Of all the places to die, that's probably the best place. This way. There we go. <laughs> gems, please. Oh my gosh. Collecting gems in Spyro 1 is actually the worst thing. I need to, like, learn if there's, like... It seems like charging kind of helps, but I don't fully understand it. 
when I understand how Gems work in Spider-1, I'm assuming that the game is going to be a lot more fun. Until then, who we? That's everything for now. I could collect some extra gems and treetops. That's always an option. Normally I only get 75. I could probably get like 100 and something. I do hate the intro to Tree Tops though. It is one of the most like stressful levels just full and th <laughs> through and through. The key in case I find anything useful for him. It's okay. Hopefully, there's not another one of those guys up here. Yeah, I'm already super over in gems. That's fine. Anyway, there's just one of the two. Oh, I forgot where I was even meant to go from there. I'm quite glad I died there. Next, I want to go here. It's this guy. Got an extra like 30 gems. That's pretty good. 400 and metal head. Let's go. I mean, it's fine, but heck. So we're gonna be at 400, gets us to 520. Right, we will need to do the flight level in the last stop. Slide. Okay, 
Okay, coming up here. Heck, this is not the kind of position I want to be in right now. Ooh, yeah, spotter. Let's go. Cool, we're at the right dragon count. Fantastic. Alinus, that was my number one concern. To even just know that we're at the right number of dragons is uh, pretty cool. <laughs> Excuse me? There must be a hole in the ground or something. There must be like a hole that I've just never seen before. Cool, I'm never not gliding over there again. And then there's like a bajillion jams up here. Whatever, I'll do it from the other side. Really? Is this Jonah just hard? <laughs> Come on, this is not a hard jump. There we go. That wasn't even that many gems, that was like six. <laughs> Come on, let's do this. Nice. And we're done with Beastmakers. Another 700 gems to go. So from these two put together, I'm getting 600, so I need at least 100 from the flight level. Or I could get almost nothing in the hub world. And then just kind of gather, gather everything else elsewhere. No, where was the where was the flop? Ah, yeah, you can't hit these guys, I forgot. Nice, very nice. I love this game. I love Dreaming of Home Homeworld.
No, heck. I hate navigating this hub. It is actually the worst thing. There we go, got around them. That was not hard. I only need to get like one row of things pretty much. Maybe we've got like two rows of things to be safe. Here's the last one. Hundred and twenty, that's perfect. Hundred and seventy, I think. Or was that three hundred and seventy actually? Heck. Wait, did I miscount? I think I may have miscounted by like a factor of one hundred. <laughs> Oh my gosh, where is he? I hate this level for these guys alone. They are actually the worst. You know what? No, there's guys here that I can kill. I'm getting them. Get an extra dragon. Oh, yeah, you need to flame them, of course, yeah. There we go.
I'm 120 short. Right, okay, how many gems am I sure, and can I just scrounge them around the overworld? 316. 50 gems, okay. Can I find 50 gems easily? That's the question. The answer is probably. Uh, I'm just going to enter a random level, and then we will just do one thing. I literally just need like well, less than 50 gems now. And of course I'm no sparks to make this even more fun. Doggies. Whatever, I respawn with sparks, that's fine. Might be enough, I'm just gonna get one more gem just to be safe. No, that's a dragon, not a gem. That's enough. We're good. Went to the final hub. And then we can play Crash. <laughs> Finally. Off to nasty. This run has been a complete train wreck, but okay. Onwards to Nort Cove. Gems don't matter, dragons don't matter. Dragons are checkpoints at this point. too short. some rats. I will be grabbing the next dragon I see. Uh, this was the wrong way. No way. Of course. Of course it happens. This was the right way. I'm dumb. <laughs> Very dumb.
No, there was a dragon right there. Heck. This would have been fine if I just remembered like the right way to go around from the start. To be fair, I've only done this level like once before, so. I'm not beating myself up too much about it. But still, heck. How do you get up there? How do you get up there? Oh no. Whatever, taking a checkpoint. Charade's going on for way too long. Getting the checkpoint here. And purple door, purple door, purple door. Okay, turning home. Twilight Harbor. Uh, oh yeah, I need to rescue this guy. Hey, scary level, let's go. Ah, Doritos. No, the dragon was right there. Okay, we got to the first checkpoint. If I remember right, this is also the last checkpoint. <laughs> of course that happened. Of course that happened. This is why we had so many lives coming into here. Cool, another checkpoint. I didn't realize there was another dragon here. Alright, Cletus. So this exit I think we need to take, yeah. No, darn it. it was so good up until it wasn't. What? Okay, 
he just his hitbox is insane. Literally unmatched. Finally, cut out of Twilight Harbor, let's go. Finally, Nasty Nork. This will be my first trilogy Spyro run completed. First door is here. Come on, no. Gotta do the long chase now. I never feel like I'm gaining on the thieves. <laughs> I feel like I'm always at like a huge disadvantage. So. There we go. Yes, got the strat, let's go. Do I respawn with the keys or do I need to do the keys again? Oh, I need to do the keys again, heck. No. Darn it. It's gonna be so smooth until it wasn't. Wait, did I not hit him? I didn't know you could not hit him. Oh my gosh, this isn't used to me. I didn't know this boss was actually- I thought this boss was just free. Never mind, I was wrong. I've just never whiffed him that hard before. Oh my gosh, this is so new. I've never seen him do lamps before. I didn't know he had to beat him on a foot race, basically. He hated this fight and reignited. I've never not caught, apparently I've never not caught up with him before. There we go. Okay, I didn't know that was supposed to be hard. Nice! You're a toast, Nork. You're a toast, Nork. Sorry I 
Cool, okay. Well, that's uh, Spyro done on to crash. Well, BRB two moments whilst crash loads up. And just for uh, proof of sakes, there we go. Let's go, hand sanity beach. Yeah, now we've done our three hours of Spyro onto about hopefully two and a half hours of Crash. Two and a half hours of everything as well. It's gonna be a bit more like two and three quarters probably, but. Rollers. So, for anyone who's not aware, I'm playing on the Japanese version. The reason for that is there is the green gem lets you skip one of the last levels of the game. In English-speaking regions, it was the gem was in Lost City. However, in Japanese, they moved it to the Hog level, which is a lot easier to get all the boxes in without dying. Uh, also, with the dropping down of the boxes at the end of the level, in, ja in the Japanese version it only ever drops one box. Telepathy <laughs> again, yeah, I was on the same wavelength here. NTSC Youth, like the American version, is actually the fastest version for this one, because optimally, you know, you can do Lost City first try without dying, but I'm not quite there. <laughs> So the lag on this emulator is not quite what I'm used to. The emulator that I usually use, and actually the one I've been using for Spyro, isn't allowed for Crash games. It's 
so my crash experience is going to be a little laggy here and there. Hopefully that doesn't mess up too many tight platformings, but... Uh, it'll just be for Crash 1. Crash 2 and 3 are going to be played on a real console. Oh my gosh, come on. <laughs> I hate how you can get stuck on those. It's the dumbest thing. Okay, great gate, and we're out of there. Go to boulders. I do forget how like how long Crash One is. Like it's always a bit of a longer game than I remember it being. I think like oh, it's only three worlds. I'm like oh, there's only like seven levels in each world, but like. That's still a lot of levels to play, especially with the longer ones taking a long time to complete. I think it has an extra life. I don't think I'll need it. It should be fine. I haven't game over in Crash 1 in a long time, but I don't think I'm going to turn down an extra life here and there. Part of the different emulator ruling is also why you guys are seeing like the border of the emulator on screen. It's just to prove that, like, you know, this isn't, like, a pre-recorded, like, task file. I believe that's the reasoning. But it's also to identify which emulator it is, so I'm not lying about which emulator I'm using. I assume there's something to do with, like, that blinking light in the bottom left-hand corner kind of, like, will verify things. Yo! Is that Viper with a raid? What is good? How you doing? Hope you guys had a fun time. Thanks for good luck. Yo Viper, were you watching some uh... I forget what you were watching, it was some sort of racing thing. Uh, I was on like the Discord homepage. And it was like, uh, one of your friends in a server is sharing a video of something. I'm like, is Viper doing like a racing watch party? How you guys doing? Welcome to the stream. We're playing uh, Splash Vector any percent today. Uh, we'd already completed our Spyro trilogy. Finished that with a time of just over three hours. We moved on to the three Crash games. We're playing these in order. Crash one. Uh, in a oh dear. <laughs> in about 50 minutes time, we're going to be moving over to Crash two, and then another 50 minutes after that, Crash three. Is this the guy that was in the background when... Are you talking about the guy who was kind of like sleeping on the couch back in 20... I want to say 17 December? If so, yes. <laughs> Sorry, I'll just catch up in the chat in a moment. I hate this level uh, and I'm going to die a few times. I'd been... I'm trying to think like how long I'd been awake at that point. Because that was one crazy weekend. I'm, uh, I I kind of miss those days, but... <laughs> I don't know. It was very of its time. I've never before been recognized as the guy who was sleeping in the back of the, uh, the driver run, though. I've also just realized that the emulator is covering chat, which is probably why I'm struggling to read anything. Hold up. I'll move you guys over a bit. There we go. Uh, British Touring Car Qualifying. Good luck with the run. It was also a auto molester in percent blind run. Ah, cool, cool. 
driver one parking tutorial. I literally like. I think I had to get my dad to like get me to be able to play driver one because I just couldn't figure it out. Like honestly, I'm not even saying like because although even doing it's hard. Like the font does not help when you struggle to read. You also can get hit by a uh, Papu's cane when he first hits it down. Which is how I'm not taking damage there. It can be skipped on J. Oh my gosh. They had it so much easier than us. <laughs> so much easier. They don't know the struggle. I think, like, Driver was fun, but I don't think I ever did a, like, a mission in Driver. I think I probably just drove around. I, was, I wasn't I was a very bright kid. I didn't finish many games. <laughs> like, I, I owned a lot of games. I played a lot of games. But games always seemed, like, nebulously large to me, and I just never finished any. there. I don't think the DLJ version was given easier time with the missions. More time to practice. Oh my gosh. They got easy mode. They, they genuinely got easy mode. Alright, so this level is the reason we're playing Japanese. Because in this level we'll get the green gem, as opposed to in the Lost... In the Lost City is normally where you get the green gem in every other region. The green gem is important because it will allow us to skip a level later in the game. Which is super nice. Now, gems in Crash 1 were hard to get because all the boxes would respawn if you died because of a bug. So instead of having to play a relatively difficult mid-game level deathless, I just kind of get to pick everything up on an auto-scroller where I'm not losing any time. And redoing is very quick. I'm trying to think of like games I played, like I didn't even finish Entrance, like what ended up being one of my main speed games as a kid. Like I played a lot of Super Mario Bros. 3, I don't think I ever got to the third world. Okay, Native Fortress, let's go. This is a very scary level, so hopefully it goes well. They also reordered a bunch of levels in the Japanese version. Uh, for seemingly no reason. And it completely breaks the continuity of the game. Uh, I'll point it out when we get to it. Uh, but there's some funny instances of uh, levels clearly being where they shouldn't be. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. The lag is getting the better of me. Ah, darn it. Uh, I'm going left here, aren't I? Yeah.
Well, that was at least a quick death. Never mind. I thought that was just finished. That was a Dizzy game on the SNES? I've only been learning about, like, Dizzy's existence in the last, like, year. And the idea that there was, like, a million Dizzy games is just kind of blowing me away slowly. <laughs> nice. This is why we're picked up lives. <laughs> Crash dies in one hit. So Crash will die in one hit unless you have a mask. And in which case, if you have a mask, you will lose the mask. You can get up to two masks at once. If you obtain a third mask, then Crash is invincible for a short period of time. But yes, by default, Crash will only have one hit point. Not sure if I can make the slide comparison, I've never played a slide game. Oh dear. That's a long fall. Oh, I would like that mask, please. Very nice. Let's go chill in the background. You know, I didn't grow with, grow up with uh, that much PlayStation as a kid. Like, I had the PS1. I never owned a PS2 until I was an adult. Unlike, my friend had a PS3, but that was like at the time we were starting to move over to PC gaming. So like, the whole like PS2 era, I never experienced, pretty much. Which is strange coming from a guy who mainly does like, Sony stuff nowadays, but... You're the world record for driver? I think I saw it. Didn't you post about it in the UKSG Discord? In which case, congrats. Did you hold the record before that? And did you improve it? Or is it like you've just gotten the record for yourself now? By the way, anyone who's here and is not following Viper but likes racing games, go follow Viper and you will get like the best racing game experience. You had console war? Uh, Alright, is that... Oh, for emulator, gotcha. OBS, uh, do you want to reconnect if you've not connected? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Sorry if I disconnected for a moment there, OBS just decided uh, not to exist. <laughs> okay, wait on the monkey, jump over the monkey. We good, we safe. We ain't dying today to some silly monkey. This is up too. There's some scary levels in Hub 2, I won't lie. Okay, well, there we go. Although this run is terrible, and my PB in Crash 1 is like a 53, this might beat my leaderboard PB, solely because my leaderboard PB is like over an hour long, and I beat it many a times just on an emulator which isn't allowed. 
So I'm curious if this will be like a leaderboard PB for me. We'll need to see what it ends up being. Because it's been okay so far, a few dumb deaths, but like nothing catastrophic. Alright, Reparu. There's a really cool strategy for Reparu. Let's see if I actually do it. <laughs> see if I remember the jumping patterns. Oh gosh, no, I missed the hit. Okay. Hmm. To say I have much of a plan would be flat out lying. There we go. It worked. You're supposed to spin the two TNTs with the two masks that you get. I did not do that. I missed the first TNT and then he landed on me. The Lost City. So this is where you normally need to get every single box in without dying. So yo pretty, what's good? Hope you're doing well, thanks for good luck. Speaking of, I just remembered that I have not changed the game to Crash. I probably still read Spyro right now. Uh, I'm not sure when I can change that. That is one sketchy link if I've ever seen it. Pretty, I don't know how alive you are just now, but if you're on your PC, do you think you could change the game for me? No worries if you're not, but... Hey, Viper's got it. I forget Viper's mod here. <laughs> Almost Viper though, thanks. <laughs> I wish I was playing Crash 4. I think if you just type in like a game, it just chooses the most popular one. In which case, I have no idea how you just set it to be Crash Bandicoot then. she played Crash 4. Yeah. It looks really fun. I'm excited to try it when I have a PC that can run it. It's on PC already? Yeah, it came out on PC last month? No, uh, March. Same time as the Switch release. At this point you're gonna be like, wait, it came out on the Switch as well? Oh wait, did it come out on the PC already? I think it came out on PC. Yeah, yeah, no, it definitely came out on PC already. Definitely, 100%. Right, I'm not going mad. It's, it's out on PC, right? PC, it's... I haven't heard anyone saying it's bad on PC. Oh, I mean, it's people who complain if anything is on Battle.net. I'm sure there are people that complain that WoW is on Battle.net. Those are people who just don't like Battle.net. Here to ignore them.
Oh my gosh, I hate the depth perception there. Yeah, 26th of, uh, thing. People just complain about WoW anyway. True. It's a lot to complain about with that game. Make that cycle. Oh, the the bats! You can complain about WoW without playing it once. Big true. I used to play WoW back when I was in like high school. I had no idea what I was doing. No, like literally no idea. I just like ran out on the map, just having the time of my life, you know, adventuring. I love just like getting the achievements for seeing places. That's just kind of like how I had fun in WoW. And I was really confused by instances because I'm like, how did I get here? Yeah, I haven't really played WoW since, uh... My time in high school was Burning Crusade, to, to kind of date that a bit. Yeah, that's one thing I did really like about World of Warcraft when I was playing it. Because it genuinely felt like a world. Like, it felt immeasurably large. Don't you think you go dash next to the dashboard? Heck. I know it's like getting to the dashboard link is now kind of awkward. But, uh. Oh, you got it. <laughs> you managed. Well done. You found the secret combination that works. Okay, uh, the Monk S bridge level. Let's go. Dude, where's my jump? always make that mistake. I knew I was going to do that. <laughs> okay, come on. This level is not the hard one. The next bridge level is the hard one. Let's not throw away all of our lives here. No! Oh, did I get a checkpoint after that? I don't think I did, did I? It was a life crate, but no checkpoint.
Okay, that was a very dumb amount of time to be spending in Road to Nowhere. Boulder Dash. Last boulder level for Crash 1. Okay, we're out of there. I'm not sure if these splits are right. I'm not sure. Is this Sunset Vista or is this Slippery Climb? Yeah, this is Slippery Climb, okay. My splits are wrong. These are uh, American splits, not Japanese ones. Can't tell if Twitch is being awkward tonight. It might be Twitch being awkward. I disconnected the stream like, uh, like the stream got disconnected uh, about 15 minutes ago, I want to say. Yeah, Twitch might just be being awkward tonight. cycle for these. There we go. Gosh, this is so laggy in this bit. Right. No, 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 no. There we go. <laughs> that worked. So in the Japanese version, uh, this is meant to be, well, this is originally meant to be Cortex Castle. For some reason, they moved onto the second island, whereas Cortex Castle is actually the third one. Because, like, the third island is you scaling the castle. I'm not sure why they moved it here, but they also added another checkpoint. So in other words, they took a very thematic late game level that was hard, they moved it to somewhere different, and they made it slightly easier. Make of that what you will. Of course, if you've played the Insane Trilogy, it's all based on the American version. Uh, I don't think any Japanese change was carried over to NST. Even if you play NST in Japanese, uh, it keeps all the American changes. 
I say American changes, the game was originally American, but, you know. You know how it be. Pick up a mask for the last guy. No way. That's such a punishing checkpoint as well. Like, this is the last checkpoint on the level. So it's like, they made the level easier, kind of, could by adding extra checkpoint, but they added it at, like, the beginning half of the level, not the end, like, the difficult end half. Oh, no. I regretted that jump way too early. Or way too late, rather. That's a mistake! Oh, never mind. We're alive. Let's go. Okay, we're out of there. I think we just kind of just skip levels into like castle machinery. <laughs> because the, like, the level order is going to be completely out of whack for the rest of this. Because I think now it's Koala Kong. Yeah. I know it syncs up by castle machinery though. Nice, he's uh he's walking a marathon today. How far Koala Kong walks is random. And as you can imagine, the least he walks, the faster he is. One more hit. Yeah, it's just completely random on how far he walks. I didn't get hit by the TNT. I got hit by the uh, the boulder, of course. Final hub.
I'm just gonna take my time with this bit. I always struggle with this bit, so I'm gonna take my time with it. This makes you want to load up Crash 4. You still got a lot to do in Crash 4. A lot of boxes to find, a lot of paths to see. A lot of extra levels to do as well, because you've still got to do the uh like the alternate alternate levels. Was this a deathless castle machinery first in my life? What? Let's go. That's not castle machinery, that's uh, the other one. You know what I mean. Deathless. Let's go. By the way, if anyone's got a moment, could you check what my speedrun.com PB is? I know my real PB is like a 53 or something, but like, I don't know what my submitted PB is, because this is going to be a valid run for like the first time in my life. I'm doing Crash Run 1 on uh, Japanese. So normally my Crash 1 runs are invalid because I play on a different emulator, but I managed to get this one working at a decent speed. Honestly, I don't know what I did differently, but it's now working, so I'm not complaining. J P S M U. Uh, I might. Oh, in fact, I probably submitted a Japanese MU time just before I before that emulator was banned. But it was still like what was it like a 103? I want to say. I don't think I got sub one before the emulator got banned. Yeah, one hour four. Oh, we're gonna PB a lot today. So what was this? This was... It would have been a Spyro 2 PB if I didn't choke gulp. Spyro 3 not. Spyro 1, it was my first run, so it's by default a PB. Crash 1 probably will be, and then Crash 2 and 3 probably won't be. Because uh, I haven't played much of those recently. I'm just going to be relying on memory for them. Eight months ago, yeah, that was when the last time that was when the emulator was banned. Back in, I want to say August.
I jumped. I jumped. That, no, I pressed X. Don't give me that. Don't give me that. Okay, round two. That's what I did. I totally did that the first time. You guys saw it, right? Okay, barrel time, let's go. I hate this level. This is probably one of my least, like, it's a great level thematically. I hate it in execution. Of course I lose my mask there, as opposed to anywhere difficult. Oh, another one though. Darn it. Never mind! Deathless, let's go. We're on to pinstripe. Pinstripe Pataru. Oh, of course he jumped. Now I don't hit him phase one. Good. Thanks for good luck. How you doing today? Oh, there we go. That was a close one. <laughs> Back to the map. Next we have the high road. The high road. That's what this one's called. We got this. We can manage. This is fine. Oh, I'm sorry you hear that, Leon. Hope everything's, uh, hope it turns up soon. No. 
There we go. Easy. Easy game. Easy game, he says. This is an easy level. Let's go. Nice and short. Right, next up is... I want to say Lights Out before Jaws of Darkness. Oh no, now it's Sunset Vista. That's what it is. Let's see if I can remember how to do this. It's been a while since I've done this glitch. Come on. Timing for this isn't that tight. Is it one, two, three? One, two, three. Well, I have forty lives to do this, but wow. There we go. It is three. There we go. Checkpoint get. those things glitch out. This means I need to do this whole climb again. Luckily it's not too bad, but it's just kind of like, ugh. Need to climb it again. It was just before checkpoint as well. Far good. No. That's okay. That was a no, the checkpoint was just before and now I'm gonna get the glitch cycle. Uh this one sucks because the uh thingy is not gonna pull back in for like a full cycle now.
No, I jumped too early. Oh, I hate this glitch cycle. It's actually the worst. It just makes that so difficult to like read and figure out exactly what's going on. Necessarily scary. That was just mean. Oh, darn it. I know where he's a vape viper. Have a good night. And thanks for the raid as well. Yep, that's the uh, that's the glitch cycle for you. Uh, the middle one just didn't extend. Because why wouldn't it? <sighs> I'm really excited to be out of Crash 2. I mean, into Crash 2. I was really hoping to be done Crash 1 by now. Like, not time-wise, but like, in fact, yes, time-wise, actually. My PB was like a 53. Wow, this run is bad. I just kind of realized. Like, a lot worse than I thought this run was. I mean, I didn't think this run was particularly good, but, like, not this bad. Whatever. We'll solve it in Crash 2, we'll still get sub-6. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. No. These pillars are the worst. There we go. No way. There we go. That wasn't hard, was it? One, two, three. Checkpoint for this last part. Yeah, I've still got like lights out and uh, Jaws of Darkness to go. And the lab. It's gonna be like a 110 or something. Okay. I think we're on to the lights out now. Oh 
I need to remember to take my time with this one. Oh, I pushed jump. The game is wrong. I did push jump there. Just hit a checkpoint anyway. No, what? Oh. Can't believe I missed that. Okay, how to lights out. I'm going to be splitting again. <laughs> Yeah, this is not going to be a respectable crash one time by any extent. Especially not even with this level not being done yet, because this level is tough. I just want to get to the first checkpoint as quickly as I can. Not that this first bit is like necessarily hard, it's just tedious. Very prone to death. Mostly because of platforms like these. There we go. We survived. Jinx it, but it's been going okay so far. Yeah, it's way too dark, like, you cannot see the shadows in this level.
Okay, castle machinery skip, so we just have like three more splits to go. And then we have a good game. <laughs> and we can finally play a good game for the first time in four hours. That's a hot take. Yeah, it is. I, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not actually being serious. I'm just... Look, I my plan was, like... I was planning to have finished Crash 1 by, like, 3.30. We're, like, 4.11 right now. So none of these runs have kind of gone as planned. Plus, I actually started like half an hour later than I was planning to, on top of all that. So I'm probably going to need to take a 5 to 10 minute IRL break, because I need to head over to an ATM tonight. Just because I can't be bothered doing it first thing tomorrow morning. I don't really want to go too far after midnight. Okay, the lamp. Oh I jumped there. You missed three crates. Oh, what level you're playing? I would genuinely, if you're playing Crash 4, I would genuinely recommend using the spreadsheet for the hidden crates. Because some of them are, like, genuinely unfair. Like, it would not seem like they could put a crate there kind of thing. It's on the, uh, I think it's a sticky thing in the Crash Bandicoot Reddit. A real grind. I'm not sure which exactly which level that is, but yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, I knew that was way too risky of a jump. First levels on Engines World? Yeah, I, I know the one. It's, uh... I think there's a bunch of boxes in the tires next to one of the checkpoints. It's like halfway through the level or something. Like, you can't see the boxes, you just, like, jump inside the tires and there's, like, a box in there. No, 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 no. Darn it. I hit the lab. There we go. Go past him. I don't trust this door. Uh, 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 uh. 
Okay, the lab is done. Finally, core tanks. Oh, yeah, the Great Hall, then Cortex, yeah. I need to go get my next console ready. Possible volume warning for the new console. Hey, Prinny, if you could do the honors of updating the game on Twitch, that would be amazing. Let me turn this down a bit. since I've played Crash 2. <laughs> I need to get back into like the weekly races that are happening. Okay, we're gaming. Let's go. <laughs> you found the crate. Yeah, it is. Like I said, there's so many of those like very dumb crates in the game. Oh my gosh. Okay. Whatever. Don't start, but whatever. Oh, 
That was meant to be a slide jump. <laughs> okay. Maybe this Crash 2 isn't going to be as great as I thought it would, was hoping it would be. Oh my gosh. What is these controls? This isn't my normal controller, that's what it is. I'm using a PS2, I normally use PS1 for this. I'll break it in now. It may take me a bit. I will pick his own lives to be safe. This game isn't too hard. Like, there's very few places you will die due to difficulty, and not just the controls being ass. Okay. Three levels down, two to go for help one. On to the pits. I always just love how smooth Crash 2 is. It's just so satisfying to play. Hmm, can you taste the static? <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking it's kinda... It's probably because I've got so many wires all next to each other. Like, I've got the American PS2 set up, I've got the European PS2 set up. I've got a speaker system set up, I've got audio set up, I've got two video setups. Like, it's all going to a TV, between there and a laptop. There's going to be some interference, I suppose. Nope. <laughs> of course I land on a bonus platform.
Very nice. 20% through already. Finally. Okay, we're pretty done. Okay, never mind. Probably won't need to take a break. We're all good. We're all good. And the split didn't split. Oh no. Darn it. My very important splits. However, can this happen to me? I don't like that I didn't get that checkpoint. I don't like that at all. There we go. That makes up for it. Just one cray, oh no. You're gonna be getting good at these levels though. Probably like one of those like golden wampa fruit crates that are like miles away or something from everything else. Do what you want it? You do want to get good at those uh, levels for the last collectible in the game. I'm not sure if you've gotten one of them yet. It's a type of relic. You got one? What, do you mean a time trial relic or the other kind of relic? Because there's two types of relics in this game.
The other, oh, the insanely perfect relics. Okay, so you do know about them. Okay. Yeah. You want to get good at them to get the insanely perfect relics. Because the insanely perfect you get for getting the box gem in a level without dying. And there's one in every single level. Luckily not for the inverted levels, but there is one for like the uh, the duplicate levels. Like the one where you'll do like one full thing as Crash and then a separate version where it's like half Tauna then half Crash. Can you imagine that last level that you did? Box Gem Deathless. Luckily you are allowed to die in the bonus, but like, and that's barely an advantage. <laughs> you don't want to, that's fair. That's fair. Because you can get 106% without them. I'm going to do this, just for safety. I know it's an 80% run, but... I lost a lot of lives already. <laughs> and I just don't want to make any dumb mistakes. Okay, come on. <laughs> this is why I picked up those lives, but, you know. My memory of these levels are not as strong as they used to be. <laughs> Is it part of the Platinum Trophy? I'm pretty sure there is a trophy for getting 106%, yes. Or it might be for watching the 106% ending. I'm not sure if you just get it for getting 106%, you might need to watch the ending as well. You meant the relics? Yeah, the for 106% you need all Platinums. And all Insanely Perfect. And all the Platinum... All, all the Platinum flash Flashback Tapes relics. Nope, that's a bonus. <laughs> this is the second bonus I've landed in, and just out of habit. Because I never do any percent for this game, I only ever do 100%.
No. That was dumb. <laughs> that was a bunch of really dumb decisions all back to back. No, I. This isn't 100%. I don't need the boxes. Anyway, that's just done warp 2. <laughs> Finally. To the Komodo Brothers. Buzz, buzz. Komodo Bros done. Note three, tiny. Of course. <laughs> He still got it. Nice. Did not mean to get hit there, but nice. was none of how I planned for that to go. Nice. That was outstanding gameplay. Second perfect relic get? Nice. Hold on. I'm proud. Just well like 40 to go. <laughs> Miss me with that yellow gem.
Oh, Hank down on the platform. We are storming through Crash 2 and I'm loving it. Officially halfway through, let's go. Okay. I feel like I really need to build up my stamina again for long runs. Like, I'll be honest, like, I'm only four and a half hours in. Like, four and three quarters hours in. I'm feeling pretty tired, I won't lie. I mean, I know it's late, but like, heck. Like, I haven't had a particularly busy day, that's for certain. Did I get a checkpoint? I don't think I did. Oh, I did. Cool. It's actually a pretty short path. All things considered. Doing five students by Yeah, I know, but it's just like. Normally, when I do like all the crash games back to back, like. I mean, sure, I, I start to feel it about like eight hours in, but that's like eight hours. And that's after about seven games. So I'm like, why am I feeling tired after just like four? To be fair though, also, I woke up early this morning and it's almost midnight, so now you envy my energy. <laughs> Take my energy. It's like I've got the I've got energy for stuff that matters. On days where I have important stuff to do, I'm just exhausted through and through.
Have you found any uh, color gems in that game yet? I forget if you get told where a color gem is or not. Unlike the uh, the map screen. Nope. They're pretty well hidden. Like, if you didn't already know what level to search in, it's gonna be, like, a long search for them, but... Yeah, I'm not sure either, but, like... They're obvious when you know that they're there, but if you've not seen them before, then heck. Like, there's usually, like, some sort of easter egg which will point you towards it. Like, they're never just, like... I think there's just one where it's just, like, there's no way you could have known that. The rest are, like, pretty fairly hidden. And even the one where it isn't signpost, it's just, like, it's something you would kind of expect the game to do. But if you don't know which level that is, then, like, heck. You might want to just, like, get a list of where, which levels they're in, so you'd know to, where to search there. Because even then it's a hard search. Tiny down. Two more bosses to go and then Crash 2 is done. Crazy, I know. I'm hungry. <laughs> Just another hour. Hour and like... Oh, 20 minutes? Oh, I forgot. I don't, I'm not supposed to do this level until I've got the masks. Oh well. Never mind. I'm just doing this level slowly. Getting out of the way. Nice bounce. Okay. None show an icon for the game. Okay, yeah. Honestly, I like I don't know the names of the levels. Like Okay, I think there's like two that I know the name of off the top of my head if you want to know them. But you could also just look up a list if you wanted to know them. Uh, so one is in Rude Awakening, and one is in Dragon On, I believe. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Dragon On. The, like, the one, it's kind of like nighttime, you're ascending the building, 
like a bunch of like the Chinese dragon things, like mist things. You got the Akano mask. Oh, just this one, heck, sorry. This is the first one anyway? Okay, never mind. <laughs> Ignore that. Yeah, I think there probably should have been an indicator in the menu. Because, like, they're, like... I, I, I actually don't want to say too much, but they're hard to find. Or hard to get, rather. I'm trying to be, like, not misleading with my wording, but not spoiling, and it's really hard. You need all uh, perfect relics, yep. I'm pretty sure there is one for the 106 ending, so. You'll need all the tapes as well. But I mean, you'll get the tapes if you're doing the perfect relics anyway. But then you've also got to do the, uh, the tape levels <laughs> and get all the boxes in those. Pain Peko, I'm not sure if I follow. It's a meme, okay. That makes sense. Okay, almost there. We're getting there. Two more levels and warp four. Like, there's barely, like, two of the levels in warp five are the jetpack levels, and they barely count as levels.
I didn't trigger it. Oh, it did. Okay. silly. There we go. He still got it. For some reason there's a checkpoint right at the end of the level as well. I don't know why. I think this is one of the only levels in all of the Crash series. Well, like, the last box that you would break normally is a checkpoint. <laughs> you don't know how you feel about that commitment. That's fair. I mean, that is a big, like, that's going to take you a long time. And it's going to be challenging. Like, there's no two ways about it. Okay, on to engine. So this is not going to be sub-6. Because Crash... I have still another, like, ten minutes of this to go. At least. And then I've got... I'm not going to do Crash 3 in 40 minutes. is isn't quite the 5.30 I was hoping for. Maybe next time. Yeah, that was a terrible cycle I was doing. I always get really worried when the game freezes up there. <laughs> One and two. Three and two. Perfect. Okay, does he still got it? Nope. He does not still got it. I was in the process of trying to jump away and then I forgot to.
Nice! Quick hands. It's the slowest way of doing things, one. It's like the slowest, fast way. I think that's two and three. Yep. I'm getting good call on that. Get back into it. There we go. My time, I was very slightly late. Pissing it away. Oh Darn it, I couldn't see the bottom of the screen. <laughs> I need to adjust it just slightly. There we go. Doing the time trial relics and they sneak TNT and nitro crates where they aren't originally. Ouch. That's mean. Didn't know about that. Four more levels, hooray. <laughs> I'm gonna get the other uh, piston level out of the way first though. And then we'll do the rest in reverse order. Kinda like the idea of doing this with two masks. Gives me a nice bit of backup. For, for when things no go, go wrong. Not if things go wrong, for when things go wrong. Like that.
Yeah, that was some decent decision making. Surprisingly painless. Like, very surprisingly painless. It's gonna be a low 50, I think. Okay, two more levels. Crash two, and then a boss, and then we're good. Night fight, last platforming. Okay, scary nighttime level over. <laughs> That's a new one. I'm still kind of processing it. I haven't seen anyone die like that before. <laughs> Thank you. 
clipped it, thank you. I don't need to share that with the people who know what's going on. Yo, that's fine, what's good? Hope you're doing well. Can't believe I died to the last enemy here. And then good here. Just finishing off my first splash bag to any. We just have one more game after this, Crash 3. We're done. We're going to be clocking this in at about like maybe six and a bit hours. Because I'm not that good at Crash 3. <laughs> Swap time. You haven't seen the last of me, Crash Bandicoot. Okay, August off, HTPVR on. There's an incredible amount of static on the TV, but that's okay. I can work with that. Sony Computer Entertainment America presents... Thanks for doing the dial, Brittany. A Universal Interactive Studios production. A game created and developed by Naughty Dog. Oh, yes, it is. Uh, Press stop to begin. Let me know if that's any better. Oh, heck, time go. <laughs> A lot better, that's good. Oh, I forgot to turn the SFX down. Oops. <laughs> Ivan, let's go. Alright. <laughs> oh, I forgot to set the cropping on uh on the capture card. I will check if I have a preset, and if I don't have a preset, then I'm just gonna leave it be. You guys can put up with the black border for like an hour, right? I was just wondering where all of my lives went, and then I realized they don't carry from Crash 2. <laughs> don't mind it? Okay, I won't worry about it. Is he losing your mind? That's a move. I do have a Crash 3 uh, cropping. There we go. That's hopefully a little more watchable now.
Darn it! There goes my masks. Or one of those masks. Oh, are you kidding me? I think I missed the last checkpoint as well. Oh, no, it was here. Never mind. That's like the shortest death imaginable. And this is fine. That's last fine. <laughs> Let's see if we can get a mask here. We're leaving with one mask at least. That's better than nothing. <laughs> like marginally, but you know. I have so much, like, interference on the TV right now, it's insane. I probably got something plugged in weird. Or it's probably just, like, a really weak, bad cable. Because it's not coming through in the capture card. Which means it's, bef like, uh, after the splitter. I think it's probably just, like, a dodgy scar connection.
Okay, so I've done one, two, three, four. I just need to do five now. I should need to BRB like five minutes uh, IRL stuff. I will BRB. Uh, text. BRB. Yeah, I will be back in a short bit.
All right, sorry about that. Let's get back to it. Oh, wait, I didn't need my headphones for this. Uh, and the text can... Where's the text? There's the height, height the text. Oh, it's cold outside. <laughs> Very cold outside. No, yeah, we've had some like a uh, antisocial behavior in the neighborhood for the last few. It's rare, but it's like every now and then, you know. So I'm just making sure my fiance gets home safe from work. And normally I'm not playing games at this kind of time. <laughs> normally I'm pretty much getting ready for bed. It's like, it hasn't really revolved, like, gone to anything more than, like, people shouting outside of windows. But, like, you know. You gotta be careful around the kind of people who are shouting outside of windows. <laughs> Okay, it's five six seven. I can't remember if it was six seven eight or five six seven, but it's six seven eight. Oh, sorry, five six seven. What did Windows ever do to them? Big true. This might be my worst Crash 3 run ever. <laughs> Genuinely, it might not be. We could uh, we could probably bypass uh, my my worst Crash one and uh, my worst uh, Crash 3 run. Oh, come on. I couldn't remember if it was like left side or right side for that. Go oh, on first place, all is good. Die right in front of a tape, oof. Big oof. Alright, I think I'm gonna do level 6 next. Get some masks here and then go into level 7. I think that's the play. As opposed to Crash 2 where you don't want masks, Crash 3 you want all of the masks. Also, wow, I never quite realized how much of a delay my TV has until, uh... So, because I can only put the... I don't have, like, a set of splitters... Well, I only have one set of splitters for audio, uh, which I was using for Crash 2. Uh, so, for Crash 3, I don't have any audio splitters. So, what I did was... Oh, no, sorry. Crash 2, I was listening to it through my PC. So, I was hearing, like, capture card delay, which is basically the same as my TV. For Crash 3, I'm using audio splitters because uh, 
I want to be able to hear it as well as it going to the gameplay, but my capture card has like two seconds of delay. So I couldn't listen to it through my PC. So I've got it set up to an actual like speaker through an aux cable. Wow, I did not realize how much delay a like a HDTV has. It's incredible. Wow, I forgot that I was holding onto these masks on purpose. <laughs> Oops. Uh, what's levels 9 and 10? And is there a mask in either of them? Probably a mask in here. Yo, Jumpy Love. That's good. Good luck. Thanks. Uh, I only took just uh, like a, a 15 minute break during Crash 3, so you know, whatever. But uh, this one's been hot garbage, but it has been fun playing some more uh, some Spyro stuff. It was my first ever run of Spyro 1. It was like a 120, I want to say. I got. All but one, uh, so for two of the flight levels, I got every single collectible but one. It was a disaster of a run. Sparrow 2 went okay, but in Gulp I died as the final hit hit. So I had to refight the entirety of Gulp because I died during Gulp's death animation. Uh, Spyro 3 was a fantastic run up until hub 3 when uh, I was playing on MU and I was so used to the like the thing for zombie being like oh listen out for the vibration on the controller I didn't configure vibration so uh, that was a bit of a shock to the system I had to like try for zombie like six times constantly leaving and re-entering the level a little bit of a disaster. Uh, Crash 1, oh gosh, Crash 1 I just have not played in a long time. Uh, my first run on BizHawk, and oh boy does it show. Crash 2, Crash 2 was okay, just unpracticed. Just, and getting used to playing on a PS2 controller instead of PS1. And uh, Crash 3, I'm just... I haven't played Crash 3 in, like... The last time I played Crash 3 was for really, uh, really, really long a -thon. Back in, I want to say January? I can't even remember how to get around this guy. Many improvements we made. Worked towards sub 4. Gosh. My goal was 5.30, initially. Get like a... A sub 30 time in Spyro 2, which I achieved. Uh, sub one time in Spyro 3, which I did achieve. I got like a 53 or something. No, it was like a 56. Uh, sub one in Spyro 1, which I missed by 20 minutes. Sub one in Crash 1, which I missed by 10 minutes. Sub 50 in Spyro... In Crash 2 that I missed by like 5 minutes. And then sub 1 in this, which I'm going to miss by about 20. <laughs> but no, yeah, there's a, a lot of improvement. I will need to improve in Spyro a lot. Uh, for me, a good time in Spyro 2 is 
like 25 minutes right now. I appreciate I am going to need to bring that down to a bit near 10 over time. I'm starting to get some of the tricks in Spyro 2 a lot more consistent now, which I'm getting pretty happy about. I got gulp skip almost first try. Uh, the actual, like, clipping into the wall thing took me two tries, but I got the climb skip first try, which was fun. I got first try swim in air, and, like, second try the dragon shores of the wall. So Spyro 2 is coming along nicely, which is like the minimal amount of time save. Spyro 3 on the other hand, I've got like probably around about 10 minutes to cut off just by practicing more and doing less baby strands. And for scale, I've never done a proxy before and I still entirely don't know how they work. Like, I know you, you you jump into a hitbox whilst it's still there. Man, I've never done one. <laughs> yeah, le learning some of the Spyro 3 stuff is probably going to be a little bit of fun. And Spyro 1 is going to be a nightmare, honestly. I am not, uh, I'm not built for Spyro 1. Spyro game, Spyro 1 is going to be a game I run as a trilogy, nothing else. my crash trilogy time I need to bring down to uh, bring down sub 3. I think like getting a 230 something in like both trilogies would be a good like starting goal for me because that's very achievable in Spyro. On a crash that's kind of yeah, it's doable. That's like a what a 50 minute time in every game. And I can do that. I don't think I've ever actually got sub 1 Crash 3, but we will see. I think my Crash 3 PB might still be on MU. I just haven't really played Crash 3 since I got the console. I know, thanks for good luck. I will, uh, I will need it. I would love one day to work towards being able to do like all the Spyro games in a back-to-back -back like I do for the Crash games. Because I'm only... I think I said I was four games short. Being like a, a Hero's Tale... Uh, the Legend of Spyro trilogy. And... Shadow Legacy. So five games. Are the only like Spyro ones I would need to do for uh, all unique titles pre-HD for Spyro. Which wouldn't actually be that bad, there's a lot less Spyro games than there are Crash games. And a lot of them are a lot quicker as well. Spyro doesn't have a whole racing spin-off series. I would have liked that checkpoint! Oh no. <laughs> oh no. That's entirely my fault, but at the same time, I'm no less sad about it. <laughs> Like 
So a trilogy, an optimal trilogy run of the Spyro, like, Spyro trilogy. That's like an hour and a half. Like, that's ten minutes for Spyro 2. Half an hour for Spyro 3, that's 40 minutes. And then another, like, 40-something minutes, which is like an hour 20. So, like, ran that up a bit for an hour 30 for game swaps and everything. Heck, this Spyro trilogy is fast. Maybe, like, two hours is a good goal for the Spyro trilogy thing. Ooh, okay. I'll be honest, I'm getting kind of like physically tired at the moment. I want to see this out just so it's like it is it is my first run. But like, heck, if I was not streaming, I probably would have stopped about late crash 2. We've been slowly chunking through up three. I'm not sure what level that was. I'll just go into level 15 in case it wasn't that. Is this double header? Don't crash. Very nice. That's nicely. And the game delivered. I will say, this game is, uh, this copy of Crash 3 has never crashed on double header. And I'm incredibly thankful for that. That does not mean I will not save during a 105 run, but... <laughs> Crystal. It's a very important part of this level. I think that should be everything for Hub 3. Nope. I missed a level. Which one was it? This one? Road Crash. Joy oh joy. How I don't miss Road Crash. Luckily on NDSC it's easier, but like, heck.
Oh my, fifth place. Okay, that's fine. Fourth. Third. Second. Let's go! Okay, it'll be just 10 more crystals, I assume? No, we missed another one. 11 crystals. Must be... High time. Yep, okay. I've happily forgotten about this one. If you ever want to scare me, mention the high time one cycle. <laughs> also, I thought I landed on that. Apparently I was wrong. No way, heck. Wait on this one. Now it's just 10 more crystals. Let's go. damage. This is new.
Okay, two more bosses. Oh, that was a TNT. Wow, okay, I was trying to DTS there, but okay. Okay, nine to go. <laughs> Two Mueller to worry about as well. Maybe I'll get that out of the way as well. Just so I don't have to think about it. <laughs> An ominous presence of Tomb Raider looming over me. Oh, come on, yes. Hey, decent Tomb Raider. Let's go. Eight to go.
Okay, seven crystals. So this is two more vehicle levels here. There's the water one, and then there's the first flying level. And then the last hub has one bike, one flying, one Egyptian, one Ara uh, Arabia, and one future. So overall, of the six levels left, three are vehicle, uh, three are platforming, and we have two bosses as well. Neither of which should be a problem, but we'll see. That's okay. Let's go. We got this. Can we beat the 645? That's the question. That's well, half an hour. Yeah, we can beat this game in half an hour. Can we beat it in 50 minutes? I'm not sure about. Alright, let's remember the controls for this. R1 to shoot. Cool. Square for roll. This level's music just makes me think bash. Like, really unapologetic black bash. Five more levels, two bosses. Oop. The level just starts.
Darn it. Yo, Toka. Yeah, almost done. Just finishing off Crash 3. The uh, Crash 3 time isn't as bad as it seems. I had to take a like a 10-15 minute IRL break. Still, you know, not, not a good Crash 3 run, but you know, not that bad. <laughs> In case you're wondering why like Hub 1 was like half an hour long. It was probably a bit more like a 20 minute break actually. <laughs> not with this engine fight today, heck. Like, I normally don't find engine too easy, but like, never this bad. Okay, second phase is 92%, that's a lot better than the last time. like burnt off that time. I'm not entirely sure what I was doing differently. I was meant to do bug light first. That's dumb.
Okay, you got through the 2D section without much problem. Right, so then it's going to be 25, 23, and then the other two don't matter. And of course I lose one mask at the end up there. Well, of course I do. That pit at the end is so mean. Genuinely. I don't know who put it there, but they're evil. Like, I bet you anything that was originally, like, just a stretch of land. And someone was like, hey, you should put a you should put a pit there. No way. Come on. Ho oh, ho ho. Indeed. live oh, no whatever will this do to my reputation oh gosh I forgot about him I forgot about him I'm on three lives oh dear
Okay, we got through the last platforming level. Just one more bike level, which is basically free, and a plane level, which isn't that bad. And then a final boss, which isn't too bad either. This is going to end up being like a 35-ish. Platforming in the platformer? No, this is a uh, this is Crash 3. This is not a platforming game. Uh, this is a vehicle minigame collection with some platforming elements. Okay, final level of this whole silly run. Can't wait to submit this. I think this is, this will be last place. I think last place was like a one uh, like a six thirty two. I'm not entirely sure. I'm still gonna submit this anyway, mainly because this is like so easily beatable, and I don't mind uh, submitting a bad run. Mostly at some point I would like to do like every one of the. Uh, multiple, like, Spyro and Crash game, like, categories. Because I'm most of the way there. Uh, at this point I will have done the any percents of, I think, basically everything. Except the, uh, anything involving HD. 625? Oh darn, I would I just would have missed that. We'll get them next time, though. Ne next weekend. Uh... I'll practice those, uh, practice some stuff tomorrow. I'll maybe do a trilogy run tomorrow, actually. Up by a Spyro. Or I might do some Spyro 1 and just kind of do some learning. Get my time down. Same as Spyro 3, actually. How is this looking? Fourth place. We can maybe still win this. I forget how tight this is. I don't think it's that tight, though. Still fourth, yeah. Third. Oh no, yeah, I lost this. Yeah, considering, like, this run involved my first ever Spyro 1 run, I don't think that's that's, that's that bad. Okay, that was 
Winning has not occurred. Darn. Reverse Pog. Gulp. Yo, Bugdramon. Morning. Good evening here. <laughs> it's almost, uh, it's 20 past one in the morning. Heck, where is it morning? Is that like Australia time? I knew that was coming from like a mile away. I still fell into the trap though. Should be in second, I think. I can't really see the bottom of my screen, which is a problem. Come on, this is close. Seven twenty PM. All right, gotcha. You know, night night shifts are rough, though. I I do appreciate that. Okay. Final boss. I'm gonna look a bit awkward, just kind of moving around. Uh, just because I need to position my head to kind of see. Do they move left? Yes, they do. I thought it was right then left. Left and right. Nice. So that's right that we stay here first. Smash Trilogy's done in 639. Kinda nice. 